we're going to do actually two exercises. Let's do first exercise number one is energy loss due to pipe wall friction. So essentially it's due to the wall. Uh, we got the problem right here, it's a pipeline. It has let's say it's straight, so we have no change in height. We have the initial pressure right here. We got the diameter, which is one centimeter, and it's 100 meters long, which is a lot. And we got this volumetric flow rate, which is pretty small. And let's say we already calculated the Reynolds number, and we got this friction factor right here. Okay. So they tell you to calculate the friction loss due to the pipe's wall. So how do we do that? Recall the equation. Let's do it here. It's right here, the equation. In order to calculate the friction loss is this F value, which we already got here, the length, which we already know, the diameter, which we have it, and the velocity here. And the thing here is we don't have velocity, so we will have to calculate the velocity. How do we do that? Recall that volumetric flow rate is actually velocity times the area. What's the area right here is essentially pi divided by 4 times the diameter to the second power. So what's the diameter? It was 1 centimeter, so it's right here, 1 centimeter to the second power. Pi is about 3.14 divided by 4. And we need our volumetric flow rate, which is one centimeter, cubic centimeter per second. So as you can see, centimeter to the second power, we cancel cubic centimeters, and we get this number right here, which is the velocity. Yeah, kind of small, actually, it's like this uh, one centimeter per second. And now, let's go back. We need this equation in order to calculate the friction loss, so I got the friction factor which is 0 0.032, I got the length which is 100 meters, I got the diameter which is 1 centimeter which if you calculate it, it's 0 0.01 meters, we got this velocity but guys take care because it, this was centimeters per second and we need meters per second in order to calculate all this, so I divide this by 100 and then I can get the square root power to the second power and don't forget this number two and we get this value right here so this is the loss we are losing 0 0.0259 joules per each kilogram going in this pipe so the total friction guys will be essentially the friction due to fittings which we don't have it's only a pipe so we can say that the total friction loss is equal to the friction loss of the pipe this value right here. And we're done with exercise number one. Now let's do exercise number two. It's exactly the same problem from past. One very important aspect in this course is to learn how to apply to different cases in the mechanical energy equation. So for instance, we got plenty of incompressible flow uh, problems. Essentially, they are divided in series flow, which is one pipe that goes along from A to B. We've got parallel and branch flow, which has different pipes, and it's very interesting. So whenever you want to check out and how to apply the mechanical energy equation to these both cases, you can do it here in block number 6, in compressible flow application. Exercise. Calculate the final pressure, because hopefully you know that pressure drop is a consequence from friction loss, okay? They tell you to assume the density of water, which is 1000 kilograms per cubic meter, and the initial pressure, or the pressure in this point right here, is 3 atmospheres, okay? So let's calculate that. How do we do that? Well, we need to apply our mechanical energy equation. So I cancel this and this because they have the same height, no pump, no workout. Uh, the velocities can be cancelled because they are the same in each one of them. We have no change in diameter. And, well, we've got it right here. Our final equation is essentially this pressure, this other pressure, and this energy loss due to friction. So, I could solve for PV, but I love to get this into this equation form because I got the differential, I got the pressure drop, divided by density, and I already calculated this value from the past exercise 
So let me change this into SI units, atmospheric unit is trivial. We want Pascal, so we got this. Density is 1000 kilograms per cubic meter, so let me substitute PA, the pressure on A, the density of water. This is the final pressure that we are uh, searching for, and the density loss. Be sure if you use the mechanical energy in joules per kilogram or meter to second power divided by second to second power, you must use this, okay? Send density, multiply, and then this goes subtracting, and I got this final value right here. So, guys, in this case, you can see it's not that big the energy loss. We got a 25.9 Pascal, which is almost nothing, guys. So, it's good. This is due to that we have a very small flow here. We have a small flow, and the diameter is relatively small. And yeah, we're done, guys. This was exercise number two, which calculates the pressure drop due to pipe wall friction. So if you need more problems like these that tell you what is the pressure drop giving a friction loss, so you want to know, I don't know, maybe you have a plant and you want to know the pressure drop, how much pumping energy do you require, you will uh, need to check out some exercises, so go to the courses, go to the website, get the applied fluid dynamics course, then part number one, incompressible flow, and you will get solve problems, quizzes, and this is slideshow, and many other slideshows, and much more in the library. This was a free preview. If you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So, for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.